Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Hey, in the past I've talked about practicing with purpose and last night I did exactly that. So I thought I'd put together this video to kind of show you what I do to build up to running a nine ball rack. So without further ado, let's take a look. The very first thing I do is I shoot the straight in stop shot just to work on my stroke, get myself in stroke. And what I'm looking for here is that I'm striking the cue ball in the center. I don't want to see any side spin on the cue ball. And I'll go through, I used to kind of count, but now it's just a matter of feel. When I feel like I'm pocketing the balls pretty cleanly and I'm stroking pretty straight, then I'll move on to the next drill. Now, one of the things I want to say here, notice that this is just one ball, and uh, what I'm going to do is progressively add balls. Now, you're going to see here I'm shooting pretty decent, you know, and some people think, well, it's just a stop shot. You could also add like a draw or a follow here if you'd want to, but I'm, I'm feeling very confident here. So all I need to do is pocket maybe nine or 10 or whatever. Uh, I usually go to where I fill up the pocket and then I'll just throw another bunch down there and, and shoot those off and then move on to the next drill. Okay, here I've added another ball. So we're up to two now. And this is the 9-10 drill. I really like this drill. This one here is all about spin-induced throw and speed. And there I came up a little bit short, but I'll get back in line here with no issue. Of all the drills that I've shot through this last year and a half, I think this, this is probably the most important one for my game. I remember in the beginning it was so difficult to continually run these two balls out and once i started doing that with consistency i started playing better during my nine ball and eight ball games i think the reason why is it taught me how to use top running spin to throw the ball in I'm still on two balls here, and this is the shot that I really struggled with back in the day when I first got my table. I'm trying to play position from this eight to the nine, and I'm using low draw to bring it back one rail. Sometimes I reach two, in that case there's two, and sometimes I'll even stroke it with more stroke and come to the opposite side of the nine as well. This one here was so instrumental in helping me because this is a, a, a very, very common shot in nine ball. Another thing that's really good about that particular shot is it teaches you how to avoid the scratch into the side pocket. Now watch what happens here. I overspun the ball, the eight ball, so it didn't go in, but I also would have scratched. So I'll reset and then shoot the shot again until I make sure I'm shooting it correctly. I got a little bit overzealous there and I've got a thin cut of the nine. Don't like to see that. Need to spin it a little bit more and get it more straight in, but we made the shot. Now we've got four balls on the table and this is one that I use to practice my inside spinners. So it's mostly about getting to center table by going really three rails. And it's with the inside spin. Inside spin is so important for our game. If you're not using inside spin, you need to learn how. It's gonna help you win way more games. It's gonna help you beat the nine ball ghost if you're into that. It's just a, a shot that really is important for our overall game. And it's not really that difficult. Once you sh shoot some drills, you'll you know be able to understand you know how the ball is thrown in, you know the speed that you need to hit it. Now, see there that I ran into that four ball. That's one of the things about this drill that's uh, you got to avoid. And in fact, here I've started over, but watch where the cue ball goes. I couldn't do this if I wanted to. It went into the short side below that three ball and then it messed me up on the two. 
but that's okay. I, I have just enough angle to where I can spin it and make the ball and get back on that three. This is a fun little drill. The shots aren't that difficult, but it really does help you develop your inside spin stroke. Now from here, we've moved the balls inward to the first diamond and then second diamond up. And we've got to keep the cue ball within the rectangle between the balls. It's not about, you know, going one cushion or anything like that. It's about just getting the job done so we can continually, you know, run these balls out. It's the one, two, three, four. I just add them just to make sure that the numerical order is noticeable for you guys. But um, it's, it's a fun little exercise, but it really is a good shot making drill and also position play. Once again, we're practicing with purpose because these are shots that we're going to come up against during a nine ball rack. See there, I got a little straight, so I had to draw it back. I have to have some control on my draw. Reset and go again. Once again, we don't move the cue ball. We always leave the cue ball where it ends up after we've run the four balls. A nice angle right there. Easy to get back on the four. So here we go. We're off to the nine ball racks. Now these are two racks that I ran last night and I want you to look for the shots that resemble those that were in the exercises leading up to this when we were practicing with purpose. You're going to see them come up quite often. And I'll tell you what, I put the this rack up first and I got very fortunate there. I was trying to come through a very small window and I bumped that nine but I got away with it and now I'm back fairly close to being in line. I do have an issue with the seven and the eight and I wanted to get a little bit further down so I could bump the seven out of there and I hit it a little too thin, but it did work out because it kind of aligned up to the eight for a combo shot. Now this is a shot here that I almost miss. Look at how I overcut this. This is an inside spin shot and I almost overcut it, but I got away with it. Caught the wing of the pocket and it deflected in. So here I gotta hit a little draw so I can keep the cue ball behind that seven. And I've got a nice look at the seven for a nice draw out to the nine. So I'm gonna let this last rack play out and let you guys enjoy. Once again, keep an eye out for shots that, that look familiar to those ones that we had during the Practice with Purpose session leading up to these two racks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Leave some comments if you'd like. And until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.